Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, so that we may prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what they'd been told by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, I just want to thank all of you for being here. I always say it's the hardcore, serious Catholics that come on Holy Day. So uh, glad that all of you are here this evening. And a Happy New Year to all of you as well. I was driving around today and I was listening to the radio and one of the DJs on one of the channels said something that I found very interesting. He said, if 2019 has been a really good year for you, then you're kind of sad to see it go because we don't know what 2020 will bring. But on the flip side, if it was a rotten year or not a very good year, then you're glad to see it go flying away and a new year come forth. So 
For all of us, it's probably been a mixed bag of all of those things. But it's not only a new year, but it is a new decade. And so oftentimes at New Year's, people make resolutions. You know, they're not going to do this or do that. I've given up on doing that because usually I don't keep them very long, but it's probably not a bad thing uh, to do. But in the gospel today, we hear and we are here today to celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. And Mary and Joseph are great examples, and even the shepherds too, of trust. And as we begin uh, a new year, trust in God is really something that we probably all need the most because sometimes things happen that we have no control over. We don't know what the next year will bring. But Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds, they all trusted God. The shepherds were told or called to go worship the Christ child, and they found him, and then they returned glorifying and praising God. Mary finally had this child that Gabriel told her she was going to have, and so she saw all these people come and they worshiped and reflected and came to pay homage to her child. And so she says, and all who heard it were amazed that it was told them by the shepherds. But then Mary kept all these things and she reflected on them in her heart. And so Mary, I'm sure, was nervous and anxious, wondering, well, what will this child be? What will this all come, how will this all turn out? because uh, she didn't know how it was all going to turn out, and because none of us ever knows how things are going to turn out. But she trusted in the Lord enough. And even though it didn't make sense, she followed him. And so that's a great example for all of us. I know a lot of us, we do trust in the Lord, but we also like to uh, micromanage uh, a little bit. You know, there's the old saying, let go and let God. Well, I know f for some of us it's more like, let go and then help God, or let go and then tell God how we want it to go. But that's not always exactly how it works. In fact, 99% of the time, that's not how it works. And so we really do have to let go and let God and trust. What will this new year bring? Well, if we follow the path of the Lord and if we trust in the Lord, then it will bring many blessings, but there will also be some hardships along the way. And that's where our faith comes in to help us get through those good times and those bad times. Hopefully, all of you have recovered from the Christmas uh, festivities. I was at the uh, drugstore today, and there was a line at the, at the prescription counter, and everybody in the line was co <coughs> coughing, coughing. And I asked the pharmacist, I said, how do you guys keep from getting sick? And she said, lots of hand sanitizer and lots of prayer. And so I'm sure there's a lot of that. But there does seem to be a lot of illness going around, so we can't really control that. But we do know that we have a new year on the horizon. And so we keep these things that the Lord has called us to do. We reflect on them like Mary in our hearts. But also, there are times when we too should glorify and praise God. Because no, things aren't always the way we want them to be but we're here, we have our life, we have our faith, and in many ways we have many, many blessings. And so I hope all of you have a wonderful new year, and may this new year of a new decade bring us all many, many blessings. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us bring our prayers to the Lord. For the church reflected in Mary, that we may faithfully bring forth Jesus Christ in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples under Mary's care, that in the coming year they may, they may know peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the poor, the persecuted, and the abandoned, that they may be consoled by our mother's powerful protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families celebrating a new year, that they may share the happiness of the family of Nazareth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are close to death, that Mary's gentle care will bless them and their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and our school, that the coming semester will be filled with a lively hope and a joyful expectation that our lives will bear fruit that is pleasing to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the past, especially Janet Horton, and for all who grieve their loss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silent prayer, let us now mention our own special intentions. Pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Almighty God, we ask you to hear these prayers and those that we hold in our hearts. Continue to show us your mercy and your love, and we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. O God, who in your kindness began all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Ever-Virgin. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who are holding on to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred night on which the blessed Mary Immaculate Virgin brought forth the Savior for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us 
the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hand. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Remember especially Ron Buckley. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Well, to share with one another is a sign of peace.
silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his hand. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dearest Christ in chain. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us to Let us pray. <clears throat> oh, how we have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O oh Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.